Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today, you guys, I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can uh, set up ECV. Uh, if you don't know what that is, uh, ECV is a virtual seven is a virtual seven point one surround sound uh, software that's free. Um, so if you do have a uh, two channel like a headset or whatever, then and you don't have any other virtual software, then uh, you should use ECV. Uh, this will allow you to get, you know, better directionality so you can, if you're in a game or something, then it's, um, what you can, you can, like, hear an actual, like, more direction, essentially. Like, let's say there's something happening to your right, you'll hear it on your right, or, like, let's say there's happening diagonally, it's gonna hear diagonally. Now, obviously, it's virtual, so it's not gonna be as good, but, you know, if you don't have anything, then it's better than nothing. Definitely better than Windows Sonic, so, um, yeah. <laughs> So what you want to do is there's going to be like three links in the description. Uh, one of them is going to be ECV Equalizer APO and then the ECV help page. So um, ECV is like is in Equalizer APO. So you want to just download this first of all. And it's going to have a countdown thing. So just wait. But yeah. And it's going to open up. So. Shit. So we wait for it to load, but um, yeah, I can't open it. Um, and oh, oh yeah. Also, by the way, this isn't a virtual. I am using a virtual machine for this tutorial, but since I already have it set it up, so yeah. Open file, but yes, and it's gonna have this equalizer APO set up. Hit next, hit I agree, and then just keep the default, I guess. Next, uh, you can you have the option to not create shortcuts if you want. Uh, install, and then it's gonna do its thing. And then right here, because I'm using a virtual machine, uh, it doesn't show me anything, but essentially, it should show you the list of your devices that you're using. Uh, it, should, it should show a list of devices for like your sound output, so. Under status, it'll show you, like, under the status tab, so it should, it should show you, like, all the devices and stuff, like, an old list over here. Under the status, it'll show, like, um, whether or not it's device default or not, so you just want to, there'll be, like, boxes, you want to tick the ones that, um, you want to tick the boxes that you want to have APO be installed onto, so that software can work. So you just select what device you're using, um, if you don't know what it is. Under status, it will it should show you somewhere uh, which one is your device default, and then you can just select that one. So under the status, it should show which one is your device default, and that one should be which one. So you just want to hit OK. It's going to say this. Uh, wait, no. Oh, yeah. Okay. So just hit OK. And then it's going to show this. Right. And then just say, I want to manually reboot later, and then hit finish. Um, so just, yeah, let's make sure just, you, you don't have to reboot, so just... And then he should be just download this. And also the countdown again. Um, also just be careful of these, you know, ads or whatever. Just make sure you're downloading the right thing. And then open file. But yes, he should be. And it. Do you want to unpack he should be into the config folder equalizer APO, which we just installed? And it. Yes. It's gonna extract that. Yeah. I'm just gonna do some stuff. I'm gonna show the whole thing. But... Install process. Okay, and then yeah, so let me show the help page. Okay, and then you should have this. Um, now you might not hear stuff. Okay, I should have mentioned this before, but. You might not hear stuff because of the APO thing, but you wanna, instead of just restarting your whole computer, what you can do is you wanna go under actions, your actions, you wanna hit, uh, you wanna hit restart audio service. And so now it should work. Uh, but yeah, and it's just gonna restart your audio service, but, and so now you should hear stuff again, and now you should be able to, uh, you know, whatever. And so, so yeah, it's essentially working now, but what you want to do is you also got to uh, go over here, control panel, control panel. Here, I'll actually show this part on, 
show this part on my computer. So you just want to go to your control panel and search up. Here, I want to show it. Just search up. Yeah. Control panel. So it might look different. And you might not see this, so just search it up. Search up sound. Uh, sound. And this thing's going to pop up. I'm going to hit recording. And then I'm going to scroll down. And then, wait, I'm sorry, playback. Sorry, sorry. Go to, go to playback tab. Uh, scroll to wherever your device is. So I'm using this one. Your properties. And you'll see, it'll show you. Uh, it is the virtual uh, the virtual 7.1 surround sound is working because you'll see that it's showing. Uh, like, I don't have stuff plugged in here. And you'll see. But, um, and then under this thing, it should work by default, but if it's not, just set it up. So, um, you can either use in terms of frequency, and bits don't matter, so just use the highest bit thing. Um, but in terms of the frequency, like the hertz, make sure it's either 44100 hertz or 48000 hertz. So, one of these two. So, preferably, if you have both options, preferably use 48000 hertz, which is so one of these two. But it doesn't matter how many bits, just the highest one. Um, and preferably 48000 hertz. Okay. And apply. Okay. I already have it set up. It should automatically do that for you. Um, but sometimes it doesn't work. And so, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, go into game, see how it is. I think Windows do, does have, uh, I think it does have some sort of thing you can use for. I'm sorry. I think we can test it sort of. Using, let me check, sound and playback. I think there might be a way to test it. Um, hmm. I don't know. I, there is a way in Windows to test the 7.1 surround sound, but, uh, you know, it's whatever. Um, to test it, I recommend, like, I don't know, like, just, like, playing a game or running a game or something, because I know YouTube doesn't use it. I don't think, so. I don't think, no, YouTube does use Terry. Yeah, YouTube doesn't use, uh, 7.1 surround sound. But, um, yeah, that's about it. You guys, if you guys enjoyed, uh, you did like, subscribe, all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, peace.